Hi, and welcome to Financial Zula, where we give you information, insight, and tips on just about any financial topic in and around Namibia. In today's video, I'm smiling, right? But yeah, it's a painful video to make. We will be talking about some of the worst money mistakes. So I'll be getting into a few of my personal ones and a few of those that I've heard from other people and I'll just be sharing them with you. So stay tuned and let's talk about these money mistakes. We want to talk about the mistakes we make so that we teach other people not to make the same mistakes because there's a saying that says a wise man learns from his mistakes but an even wiser man learns from the mistakes of others so learn from the mistake of other people you don't have to go through and do the same mistakes that some of us have already made like let us make the mistakes teach you and then you don't you don't have to go through it yourself okay so the first money mistake that a lot of people make is renting an expensive flat or an expensive apartment okay especially for people that are just starting out you just got a job or you just started your business and you're making good money and then now there you are like okay well I have to live in a really good place you know it needs to show that I'm making good money like stop man stop you are just wasting a lot of money on unnecessary things okay just get a decent place like just get a decent place and stay there it's still okay so this is a mistake like mostly because especially if you have a business or a job you won't even be there most of the time like you have a nice place just so that it's empty at, by the time that you're at work there's nobody there and like sometimes the money could really be doing something worthwhile like investing the money in your business or investing the money somewhere where it can get you higher returns then you can make money from that money instead of spending it like it's it's not worth it like get a decent place and you'll be fine like don't push for the expensive amazing apartment if you can't afford it especially if it's just digging into your income and every time when you pay for that apartment you feel it then just know you're making a mistake yeah okay money mistake number two this is a personal one and yeah it still hurts but yeah story time so money mistake number two is investing in forex okay now i just want to put a disclaimer first before we continue on that yeah i'm not against forex but i have seen some shady stuff in forex again very painful but like what happened was um there's this guy that i used to go to school with and he started trading in forex right and he started you know posting that he's making a lot of money and i know this guy and i can see the changes in his lifestyle because of the forex that he started doing or the forex trading that he started doing and i was like and he was like oh yeah just invest and he was showing some returns or he was sharing some returns on his status and i was like oh you're doing great and he's like yeah it's great and then i was like okay i want to invest so i put some money in there i won't go into the amount because it was a lot of money put some money in there and you know the agreement was like six months then i get like a really good return and i know i know that like it's unrealistic to expect so much money from like an investment of six months but i was like it's forex so it's not a normal investment like you know this is like a high return high risk high return type of environment so i, ex I was expectant for like the money so month one he pays back part of the money so it was capital and interest or whatever uh, profits he made so that's what I got and then we come to month two and he's like no I'm struggling and then I was like all right we just add this second month to another month so that you you know you owe me interest for two months now and you're gonna be giving me my capital for two months and then after those two months it went downhill so yeah after that it ended in debt collectors and the likes and then I lose money he loses money because now we have to pay a debt collector 
and it took a while to actually get the money back it took like two years so that wasn't fun and I I don't know like after that I haven't trusted Forex maybe you guys know of some trusted Forex people but like I don't know because I just feel like from like since then I just feel like all these posts of like profits and stuff those are just gimmicks because the person was still posting profits even after they were telling me they're making losses so yeah don't do it it's a scam or well, at least that's what I think don't come for me that's my experience <laughs> okay okay so where's money mistake number three is uh, not tracking your finances you know how like you get income and you just like okay I have money and then you're just spending and spending and next thing you're like oh what happened to my money like that happens a lot but it only happens if you don't plan so once you get the money you need to know like where is it going like how much am I gonna spend on that and that and that. it's not like you're not allowed to spend it it's just that you should know where it's going because like if you don't know you're going to end up in a position where you are now angry at people because they don't want to borrow you money or they say they don't have money and you're like oh how can you not have money you know you didn't even do you don't even do much you know you just get paid a lot of money you don't do much you avoid losing friends if you plan your finances so just know where your money is going like have a budget like it's it sounds dumb and small and unnecessary but it can really help I've been in one of those situations where like I got I used to get money and like I just spend it like ah, yeah I don't look like the type but I, I really used to spend the money and that's how I ended up becoming somebody that's more interested in financial planning and getting the finances part right because I realized that when you do that it puts you in a better space and yeah it also takes away the need for people like not people interactions but asking people for money like send me this send me that because you are out of money you just spend wisely man and stick to your plan like if you plan if you have a plan stick to it don't like go off it just because you expect more money but then it doesn't it never comes through so yeah that's have a financial plan okay because not having one is a big financial mistake money mistake number four is buying unnecessary things on credit okay yeah another painful one this is like okay I bought like a phone on credit um, from MTC just because I wanted to build credit for buying a car and you know I didn't want to not have any credit history because if you don't have a like a good credit score or no credit score at all it's very difficult to get credit for like the big things that you want like I wanted to buy a car and like also if you do get the credit then the interest is really high because they don't know how you behave when somebody gives you money or borrows you money so I wanted to build that credit so I was like okay I'm gonna take out something small that doesn't have too much interest like it won't cost me much to do it so I took out a phone on credit was it necessary no it wasn't necessary it was just because I wanted to do that um, maybe for a good cost but still an unnecessary thing I could have gotten something smaller that I could have paid off in a shorter time so I took out a phone on credit for a year things went well but I think in the middle there I got bored so I decided to pay it off earlier and then I lost my phone like immediately after I paid it off so I needed to get a new phone and I could have bought the new phone cash but I was like oh well I had credit and I can do it again so yeah I went to get another phone on credit and it was not necessary and it was a more expensive phone and it was like a more yeah it was gonna take a lot from me and it wasn't necessary like I could could have done better but I decided to go for it and yeah it came to bite me because now every month there I was paying off the phone I couldn't put my money in the investments I wanted to put it in anymore because I had to pay the phone so and I'm just like it's it's not necessary like yeah like if you can if you need to buy something on credit you should but if it's not necessary and you can like pay it off and not have to suffer the consequences later then don't okay don't just buy cash okay only buy necessary things on credit don't get into the mistake of by taking credit unnecessarily so money mistake number five which is the final money mistake is not investing early 
Um, I don't have like a story for this, but it is in my experience. I've seen it like if I had taken out just a small amount to invest in like a good fund or some uh, some shares and stuff earlier in my life when I maybe started making some money I would have been in a so much better position number one I would have been able to understand most of the investments I was doing earlier and understand where to move the money to if it's necessary and stuff like that and number two, I would have had great returns by now and like the money would be making money for me, you know, because it would be a lot more that I would have invested as time goes. So not investing early is one of the things that I do like regret. And yeah, I feel like it's a money mistake that I've made. And I would advise like if you have some extra income, start investing it. Like don't be the kind of person that just spends it and whatnot. It will pay off at some point. And like the earlier you start the better and the higher returns and the higher the returns and the higher the yeah the benefits so don't make that mistake like start investing now already like if you can you should and I think it's it should also be like a priority so avoid making the mistake of not investing the money early hi financial Zilla viewers Thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you have made some horrible financial mistakes, please also share those with us in the comment box. And yeah, don't forget to yeah share with your friends. And yeah, this is, it's, it's painful, but we learn from our mistakes. So if you are new, welcome to Financial Zula. Welcome to the channel that gives you information, insight and tips on financial topics. Thank you for joining us in this video and we hope to see you in future videos. Please subscribe, like, share, put it in the comment box if you enjoyed the video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for joining us again for this video and keep a lookout for videos like this in the future. Uh, thank you for watching.